A long time ago, I said you'd always have a place in my company, and that's still true. Unfortunately for you, that place is in the zoo's outbox because you're fired. Gee, thanks. It's not all bad, though. As part of your severance package, you get to keep your uniform. Don't worry, I'll take the cost out of your final pay packet. Oh, hello there. It's Emma again. I was so happy to hear the news about Dominic firing you. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> that came across terribly. <laughs> I simply mean that the timing of your dismissal is extremely serendipitous. You see, remember that something that I mentioned before? <laughs> well, I'm excited to say it has finally come to fruition. As a result, I find myself in need of a zoo manager. And while I could do it myself, I'll have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Let me explain. You see, I plan on constructing a chain of zoos as rivals to those of Mr. Myers. Zoos where both the welfare of the animals and our planet is of paramount importance. The eventual goal? To drive Mr. Myers out of business and rescue the animals he's exploiting. But such a task is not simple. I will need someone like yourself who is qualified to handle the building of the zoos, while I concentrate on the overarching business. So, are you ready to make a difference? Sure. I'm ready for anything that's not Dominic Myers, to be honest. <laughs> Welcome to your new zoo! This should be a much more pleasant experience for you than your recent ones. Mm -hmm. And it should be more exciting too! Just not in a, will I eventually be arrested for being a part of this way as it was with Mr. Myers. Not that your work won't be challenging. I mean, I want this zoo to become a paragon of eco-friendliness. You might say, we want to have a small carbon paw print. <laughs> Oh, come on. No? Nothing? Fine. <laughs> well, anyways, um, hello and welcome to the Nevada State Eco Zoo. Um, our first zoo after Dominic Myers. Why did my microphone just do that? I'm sorry. Um, anyways, if you're wondering why the last episode ended on nothingness, it's because I couldn't finish the scenario. Um, I couldn't, because my animals kept glitching out of habitats, and then they got hungry, and then they got unhappy, and then their welfare went really, really low. And one animal having low welfare was enough to just not give me 85%, and because of the zoo size, it took like four months for the, you know, report to go through it, and within those four months, one animal would at some point be unhappy. So I just didn't finish that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Maybe your zoo isn't bugged. Maybe you can do it. I apparently can't. Anyways, a new zoo, new life, no more weird brick walls, hopefully no bears glitching around. Um, so for bronze we have to adopt and place four habitat species, two timber wolves, increase the conservation rating and reach 10% plant diversity across at least three habitats. That sounds doable. <laughs> so uh, we do have to start from nowhere. So we have to build a zoo. And whoever decided on using brown pathing, like black pathing here, no, 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 just this is a zoo in no, why? If you've ever been to like uh, any hot area in the world ever and tried walking on black like roads, you know why I'm complaining about this? Um, I'm kind of trying to build like some decent looking road here. And this is our first area where we get to build by ourselves, you know, sometime. Um, and I have to just figure out where I'm putting what because now I actually have to make my own decisions again. You know, it's difficult. Um, and I've been thinking, maybe we could, you know, put the staff area down here. <laughs> when no one will see it and sort of have a path running around the back. Um, we do need everything because, you know, it's a it's a full zoo. But every like literally anything is better than the previous uh sunshine happiness zoo. 
<laughs> Sunshine and happiness. Mm -hmm. I like. I'm just. I just finished recording that. So if I still sound a little bit salty, uh, that's because I am. King Myers. Can you please. Thanks. Um. Yeah. The, the, the only downside of how I'm doing this, I guess, is that I do only have like one side to the road. Um. And you know, go on, go on. Here we go. We, we have like no money left, so we do have to obviously start by taking out a loan, but uh, look at these beautiful loans. We have like 5% interest, not 20%. Mr. Myers? Um, yeah, I don't like the guy. I, I have no idea. You know, he was such a great zookeeper. Like, I, I should love him, but I just can't bring myself to. Anyways, um... On that note, also, like, the water temperature regulators really, really destroy your wallet. So if you use them, use them in small zones. <laughs> Don't be me. <laughs> Don't try to heat the whole river. <laughs> Who would have guessed that that would be expensive, right? Definitely not me, no. No, we don't need to vent. So, it is time to build our own zoo. Outside of the confines of crazy, weird businessmen and, uh concrete buildings in Siberia. <laughs> Let's see what animals we can get. So we have African buffalo, we have Bactrian camels, we have bear tapirs, we have um, a lot of tapirs. Wild beasts, okay. Uh, Bonnie and orangutans. Uh, gharials, flamingos, brown bears, hippos, hello. Indian elephants, Nile monitors, plain zebras, red panda, saltwater crocodiles, snow leopards, spring box, <laughs> spring box, <laughs> timber wolves. We do need wolves. Um, I want to start off with wolves. I'm gonna start off with the spring box. Let's spend some of our credits on a good male spring box, and then get two decent females, because this is like. We have to do a proper planning for this too, because it's gonna we're going to be playing for a while. Yeah. It's still going to be way better than any Dominic Meyer zoo ever because it's not at all. So, yeah. Like I don't know how anyone can enjoy playing those scenarios. I always feel like just jumping off a bridge or something after I'm finished with them. And I generally like playing scenario modes in games, it's just... Dominic Myers is a special kind of... So maybe it's also because my scenario was bugged, I'm not sure. I'm fairly certain the bears aren't supposed to get out, like... Maybe that's Myers. Maybe he's just... What do you mean obstructed? Nee, nee, nee. I hate this. Oh, I'm still traumatized from the previous zoo, I'm sorry people. I don't mean to sound so... Can you, can you please? There. Not pessimistic and unhappy about life. But Dominic Myers broke my soul. I mean, I know. Not like I ever had that much of one, but what I had left, he destroyed. This is an ugly habitat for habitat. Anyways, uh, let's make that see through and let's get a door. And then we need to get some spring box in here. And then we have our first habitat. And would you look at it? It's a pretty good looking habitat. And, and no 50 animals have to die for it. What do you mean in valid destination? It's a full habitat. Why can I not transfer them in there? Oh, okay. I, I guess I'll do it this way. Oh no! Don't tell me my game is going to be bugged again, please. <laughs> Anyways, um, while we're at it, we might as well instantly, okay, not instantly, instantly, but soonish, instantly start research because that's going to be important, and prepare for whatever weird things Myers is going to yeet our way. And, uh, you know, just build a zoo that actually looks like a zoo. 
been a while since I've done that. Can I please have these in a different color? Like, genuinely. I just don't like them in, in blue. It's a personal thing, I just don't like them in blue. But, but anyways, here are our spring books. They don't like anything. How oh, great. There we go. At least they're okay with the heat. You know? <laughs> um, let's give them some plants. I'm going to try to make the habitats look somewhat interesting. Um, but yeah, like, I won't spend 50 years building the habitats. I don't have 50 years. I have, uh, like, three hours or something. I don't want to sit here forever. <laughs> On that note, this is a really, really pretty, like, rebuild area for zoos. So if you like building zoos a lot, I do consider completing this scenario and just you know, taking the map for yourself. Because it is a very, very pretty map. There we go. How are we feeling? It's okay. Get a researcher and let's hope that the visitors can come in. Because I've had issues with that before. Where we were supposed to have visitors, but they got stuck somewhere. No, they're just taking forever to come here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Come on in, people. We have spring box. They're really cute. You'll love them. They're all just standing in the corner because they're scared of you. But I guarantee that you'll love them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like... Taking more time with the zoo, because we'll need to do a lot of research and everything anyways, so... Anything else isn't really going to be worth it. Um, I have learned from my errors and I will now be built with wood. Alongside the other stuff. To avoid any weird angles that I am going to have anyways, but you know. Curve. Gonna have a somewhat natural curve, please. There we go. No, 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 I don't even know who this habitat is going to be for, but it's here. And now I just need to turn these into wood as well. You know, I just like having a rough plan of what I'm doing, kind of. How are our spring box feeling? Is your herd size big enough? Adult population good? Yes. Yeah, they don't have enrichments, but they will soon have enrichments because um, they have great researchers that can give me better enrichments and higher food quality with the blink of an eye. Okay. And next animal. So we want to get animals that don't need water because we can't place water. So no African buff. Below. No bear's top here. Maybe black wild beast? Can I place you together with the spring box? Yes. Spring box, how much space do you have? Space do you need? Probably more. Probably can't place them in there. Probably need a bigger habitat. However, you know, hear me out here. We could quickly move them over to the habitat next door. <laughs> um, is how many of you do I need? Yeah. So how about we make this the habitat for the black wild beast and the spring box instead? I know, not, not, not my best idea to suddenly remember that animals need space or something, and that maybe I should put them in a different habitat. But that's why I'm here to do weird shit. No. Ooh. <laughs> um, pathing in Planet Zoo is like its own worst enemy. Ha. <laughs> Look, it worked. So let's move you guys over here. No path to destination. It's a new habitat. It's fine. See? I don't know, maybe maybe it's a recent patch, maybe it's just an issue with 
I don't know why the <laughs> game doesn't like me. So I'm just going to move everything over there real quick. Imagine if in real life you just had to like poke something with your mouse cursor and it would just move over to the other end of the world like poof poof done. That would actually be pretty cool. Sadly that's not how life works. People are gonna be like, where are my spring box? I paid to see them. They're like two meters to the right, Karen. You'll have to walk a little. I know, very, very difficult. How are we feeling? I didn't get to rain that badly, there we go. And the plans are okay, and I don't have any more enrichment items for you, I'm afraid. Wait, why are you still here? Oh, you are being moved. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor animal. Just imagine it's like, oh, all of my friends left the day. I can't join them and now I'm all on my own. That would actually be kind of sad. Like, genuinely. No, don't, don't, don't do that game. Please don't start like that. <laughs> you have to dream that one day I'm not going to glitch out anymore. Okay. Black wild beasts. Can I get more females? I can't. Why are you not selling any female animals? How am I supposed to get this habitat filled? <laughs> you don't sell me any female animals. <laughs> I can also put zebras in there, can't I? <laughs> yeah. That's just... This habitat. No, I don't want to... I think that might be too many animals. Um, but I need animals for the habitat next to it. So, uh, the, uh, the list of animals that don't need water is ridiculously small. Let's put zebras in a separate habitat, who cares? Nee, 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 nee. They don't need access to water, they're fine. <laughs> That's like one of the reasons why I'm so restrictive with buying. I can't place any animal in any of these habitats. That also needs to have access to, like, a lake. Because there is no lake, you know. Black wild beasts don't need that. So it's fine. But they're also, like... What, you don't like desert plants? Okay. So I guess just African non-desert plants. I don't like my plants, mummy. Can I have new plants, please? what these animals feel like sometimes <laughs> okay and here's our zebras do you even have enough space in there yeah no you don't should have known that zebras need more space see i should have known it i just for some reason didn't it's just there it's a bit more space is that enough space you happy now yeah <laughs> i just have to be very very careful with the furnishing <laughs> I'm I'm sorry that I warned you. I I think everyone has been warned that this channel is a home of chaos. So like if you're still here and you're expecting anything else, it's on you, not on me. I want to get plants in here without taking up too much space and it's difficult. Just also make sure that I have some educational boards for both of the animals so that people don't think that there's a new weird breed of springbok. Because like, I don't know about you, but I'm sure someone out there would be doing that. So now we have three animals, which is a little expensive. <laughs> but that's fine. Like, we can just go and raise the entry cost, right? Are people willing to pay more for this? No, no, they're not. Okay. How much are we charging anyways? That's not a lot. I mean, we only have three animals, so I guess we really can't charge all that much. Like, yeah, I get it. We're not, we're not the most interesting of zoos. But yeah, we now have a zoo that's not Dominic Myers. 
Yay! You don't know how happy I'm feeling about this. Like, building the zoo is a bit of a challenge because you have water that you need for all of your animals, so you kind of have to do this whoopsie doopsie around the lake. But it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the plant diversity rating. Like, do you just want me to get all different kinds of plants? Because I can do that. Like, I can get a sausage tree, and a sausage tree, and another sausage tree, and some virus, and a uh, thorn sampling, and... Did that help? It did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so apparently it's literally just have as many different plants as possible. I can do that. Here. More different plants. I'm sure that that's not how they wanted you to solve this. But it's how I'm going to approach it. Look. Working. Dear Planet Zoo Devs, if this wasn't how you wanted me to solve my problems, you just wouldn't let me solve my problems this way. Um. So, how's the research going? Because we do need research to continue, because I need better food for these animals. So that they're a bit happier. Because, look, they don't have a lot of space. They don't have a lot of enrichment. The least we can give them is more food. You want the crap, I think. Everyone likes a grapple, right? Um, anyways, it's somehow been 22 minutes, so I'm going to finish this episode here. I'm sorry, I talk too much. Um, next episode we're going to place the timber wolves and, like, donate an animal to science or something. That should be enough for the uh, conservation rating, alongside with some of these. Or are they here? Conservation education. We can place a couple. Why are you protesting? What's going on? Why are we having protesters? Can you please tell me why you're protesting? No, I guess not. Okay. Are the animals shy and scared? They're starving. Did I not add? Please tell me I added it to the work. I didn't add it to work since so no one's feeding them. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's my own fault. I'm very, very sorry, animals. You will get food in a second. Um. Anyways, we'll be doing that in the next episode, and then we'll continue forward with the zoo. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's going to be a bit more comfortable than the Meyer zoos. Um. And yeah, maybe at some point I will finish the last Myers campaign. I don't know. Maybe I'll find the strength within me, but not today. So... Yeah, as always, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye!